Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about good stress, bad stress, and burnout and the difference between all three. So there's actually something called eustress, which is good stress. Eustress is things like exposure to cold or exercise or having a deadline that's actually going to motivate us to accomplish more. And we know through clinical research and just anecdotal evidence that positive stress is when we push ourselves to accomplish a final outcome that is greater than just coasting by. Um, our greatest achievements always lie outside the comfort zone. So when we push ourselves outside of our comfort zone, we're going to accomplish more. So when we're exercising, for example, it doesn't always feel good or comfortable, but there's a positive result at the end. And so what we want to understand is that good stress is when we put ourselves through something that is uncomfortable, but we have a positive vision, we have a vision or an outcome that we're working towards. So as long as you have that positive vision of what you know you're working towards, that little bit of pressure that you put on yourself can be a very good motivator. So no matter what you're going through, try to envision that positive result that is what you're working towards. If you can envision what you're working towards, the final outcome, the final goal of either being healthier, wealthier, wiser, whatever you're working towards, if you can envision that final outcome, you're going to be able to get through the stressful experience much more effectively. All right, so bad stress is when we are not able to connect with that final vision, when we're not taking proper care of ourselves, when we're not resting enough, when we're not nourished enough, we don't ask for help when we need it, when we're overextending ourselves, if we're saying yes to too many things, and if we're not connected to the final outcome that we're working towards. So you can pick up on some ten telltale signs of if you're undergoing negative stress, if your emotions feel out of control, if you feel like you're being hit with emotions or emotional reactions left and right, day in, day out, every moment of the day, if you cannot control those emotional reactions or the emotions that are coming over your mind and your energy, that is a sign of negative stress. And why does negative stress become overwhelming? Because we're not connected to the final vision. If we're disconnected from the final outcome of what we're working towards, and we can't connect to the positive aspects of what we're working towards, we're going to feel like life is out of control. So if you are, again, not resting enough, if you're not nourishing yourself, and if you're not reaching out for help and support from other human beings, you're going to feel overwhelmed. And if your emotions are feeling overwhelming to you, that is a big red flag that you are suffering from negative stress. The next thing that we want to understand is that too much negative stress is going to lead to exhaustion and pushing ourselves beyond our capacity time and time again is going to lead to adrenal fatigue. So our hormones are um, of course different if you're a man or a woman, but we're going to push ourselves beyond our capacity to do great things if we do not take time to rest properly, if we're not nourishing ourselves, and if we're not asking for help. We're not meant to do everything on our own. It's important to build strong connections and networks of support and try not to do everything for everybody else. Make sure that you're prioritizing what's most important to your life and that you're taking good care of yourself. Because if you're pushing yourself beyond what you're capable of day by day, you're going to hit a wall of exhaustion and adrenal fatigue. So a big indicator of pushing yourself past good stress into negative stress is if you're constantly feeling fatigued or exhausted and um, if you're just experiencing low energy levels um, and you're going to want to take time, take a time out to nourish yourself, to get rest and to reach out for help. Build a support network of other people who are just as ambitious and motivated as you and ask for help when you need it. Don't try to do everything for, for everybody else and know when to say no. Don't try to be the person that does everything for everybody by saying yes to too many things. Know when it's time to say no. That, that That's about clear boundaries, knowing what's right for you on a daily basis and what is not right for you on a daily basis. The next thing we want to be in line with is understanding that um, negative stress is going to 
cause us to be over engaged over engaged means we're saying yes to too many things we're checking our phone constantly we're replying to comments replying to text messages replying to emails as soon as that notification comes in you're on your phone checking it as soon as the email comes in you're checking it you're responding to it instead of actually building specific segments and blocks in your day where you're going to be addressing comments emails um, you're going to set up specific times during the day where you're dedicated 100% to responding to emails responding to phone calls or messages you do not need to be on call 24 7 you do not need to be on call 24 7 you do not need to be making everybody happy you need to focus on yourself first and then when your cup is full then you can reach out to others and make a big difference in the world all right so if you are over engaged if you're saying yes to everything if you're responding to every text message and every email and every notification that comes in constantly day in day out you're over engaged that's a big sign that you're slipping into negative stress being stressed out also feels like a sense of urgency. So like, you've got to get it done now. You've got to get it done yesterday. It's not fast enough. It's not good enough. The sense of urgency that's causing you to almost feel like you're panicked, like you're not good enough, like you need to do more. That is a sign of negative stress. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is prioritize self-care, rest, nourishment, reaching out to other people for help. All right, and when you fill your own cup, then you can reach out into the world and make a difference in the world, but you need to take good care of yourself first. You need to be clear about what you need. Ask for help from people who can help you. Delegate tasks that you don't know how to do or that drain your energy. It's important to know that you don't have to do everything by yourself, and you need to know that humans are part of social networks for a reason because we work best when we're reaching out for help when we need it. Okay, so if you feel that inex inexplicable sense of urgency about everything, you've got to go, 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 get everything done, 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 means that you're slipping into negative stress. Okay, so from negative stress, we can actually reach burnout. And burnout is actually when we're going from feeling overwhelmed with our emotions to suppressing our emotions. So burnout is a trauma response. And um, depending on how our childhood is, how we're raised, how our parents and caregivers act around us, we can actually learn that trait of suppressing our emotions. Um, sometimes we feel and we're trained and conditioned to think that our negative emotions and our positive emotions are unacceptable that we need to shut off these emotions so that we can function and if you're suppressing your emotions if you feel completely numb or blocked off from any sort of empathy compassion towards yourself or others and you're just not feeling anything you're completely numb that is a big sign that you've hit burnout so it's a slippery slope from good stress to bad stress to burnout and if you're feeling completely numbed out and suppressing your emotions that's a big indicator that you are actually hitting burnout the next thing you're going to notice is that um, burnout is going to lead to emotional fatigue so um, where negative stress is going to make you feel physically tired like you eventually after go go going all day or all week you're going to need to take a nap you need to take some time because you're physically tired emotionally you're going to feel completely drained energetically you're going to feel completely drained like you don't want to deal with people you can actually start lashing out at people with um being very angry being very cranky very temperamental um with where road rage comes in or screaming at your children that is a sign of hitting the wall and reaching burnout the next thing you're going to notice with burnout is that you lose hope and you lose motivation so instead of that sense of urgency that you feel when when you're feeling stressed out you're actually going to start to feel hopeless like there's really no hope for you there's no hope for the situation you're going to lose your drive and motivation you're going to hit a wall where you're feeling like no matter what you've done or what you do there's no way out so if you're feeling hopeless or complete lack of motivation it means you've hit burnout you're also going to feel that when you when you hit burnout you're going to feel this disengagement so instead of feeling overly engaged where you're responding to every message responding to every notification you're going to feel like you don't really care or want to engage in anything um, and that's also not a good thing because of course you're, you're hitting a wall at that point and we as social creatures human beings need to reach out for help because we cannot do everything on our own we need to find people to coordinate with so that we can be useful um, teams of people that make the best difference in the world possible so if you're feeling disengaged where you just you know you don't want to speak with anybody at all it means that you need to engage in some um, therapeutic 
uh, protocols that are going to help you get out of burnout. And the last thing that we're going to talk about today is a feeling of helplessness. If you've hit the wall and gone past good stress, past negative stress into burnout, you're going to feel helpless. Like no matter, again, what you read, what you listen to, no matter who you talk to, you're going to feel like it's just no use. So if you're feeling completely helpless, like you've tried everything and there's just no hope for you and, and there's like really nothing else that you can do, that means you've reached burnout. But the great news is, is that with recognition, you can make changes, small changes. Um, just by watching this video, you have brought awareness to the situation. You're understanding that there's different kinds of stress and you're understanding that burnout is just a trauma response. So trauma response and trauma response can actually be triggered um, when we're around certain people, when we're around our certain family members, especially around the holidays, these trauma responses can get re-triggered and um, especially if we're pushing ourselves too hard or if we're around certain people. And when we get triggered, those emotional traumas will resurface and we're going to actually get stuck in that trauma response or that feeling of burnout. So if you're experiencing any of those symptoms at all, I want you to send me a message and we're going to start to work on some proven protocols and techniques that are going to help you ease out of that feeling because there is hope. No matter what you're feeling right now, there's always hope. There's always people that care about you and you are amazing just as you are. So let's get you slowly easing out of that feeling of negative stress, of burnout, and I'm going to um, step by step show you how to do that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune into the next video for more tips and tricks on how to reset your mind, body, and soul.